Maxine Waters is going to be here later today. When she's done at the hearings this lunch, get out of Iraq caucus that down numbers 43 members. We are on the move. Look around this crowd. We are Rainbow Coalition. I think I'm finally going to maybe get some kind of justice for Casey and the 1,713 other brave Americans in the tens of thousands of uncounted and countless Iraqi people who have been killed by the lies, by the betrayals of our country. And um, I want to ask my other Gold Star, I know there's some other Gold Star family members for peace here. Can you come up and stand behind me while I'm talking, please, if you can hear me? Um, yesterday, Gold Star Families for Peace walked around Congress. We knocked on doors, we talked to Congress people, we talked to their aides, and we said, before Bush invaded Iraq in October of 2002, you cowardly and expediently abrogated your constitutional responsibility to declare war. So Gold Star Families for Peace, we went and reminded Congress what their constitutional responsibilities are. Wash the blood off your hands. Demand an investigation into the lies that got our children into these wars. Bring our troops home now. Yeah. It's all up to you to remind them that they swore to uphold the Constitution of the United States. They don't swear allegiance to the president. He, does, he doesn't deserve our allegiance. and provide the strength that is needed to help bring our troops home. Today is a new beginning. It's over for George W. Bush. It's over. We're out here now, okay? Young people will not have died in 
in vain. We're going to get them all. We're going to turn it around. We're going to bring our troops home. a great historic day in America because we've finally broken through the stonewalling that we've been getting in Congress. And the reason we have done it is because of you. Give yourself a great round of applause. But we also had 50 members of Congress that joined us down in the basement of the Capitol to help do it too. And some of them are here today. We've heard some incredible testimony that we could never get anywhere before in the House of Representatives, in the Senate, and certainly not out of the White House. But now we know that we were told one thing in America, but in London, they were planning a war all the time. And that raises, as Attorney Boniface says, some questions that call for more hearings, more questions, more witnesses, more marches, more protests, more letters to the president telling him to come clean. And so this is a beginning of what's going to turn this sad, terrible war around. Mm -hmm. 